let me demonstrate real quick. Um, let's pretend KJ. KJ is my partner. So let's draw an imaginary line from, you see where the letter T is right there? Yeah. Yeah. On the green? All the way across. Okay, so this is our starting point. So we'll call this the midline. What are we going to call this? Midline. Okay. So again, this is for agility and for speed and reaction time. Do we need a basketball for this? No. no. Not yet. So here's what you're going to do. Let's say I go first. I say duck. Go ahead and tap my shoulder say duck. 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 <laughs> duck. Now, you remember when you play in a circle, right? Mm -hmm. When do you run? When you say goose. goose. Now, if you're the person that says goose, so I say I touch and I say goose, I have to turn and run to that end line over there. KJ is going to try to tag me. If KJ tags me gently in the back without pushing me, he gets, he gets a point. If I make it all the way to the end, KJ, before he gets me, I get a point. We just don't want to push on our tag. Give me a thumbs up if you're with me so far. Okay, so KJ, let's play, let's play for real now. By the way, we're touching each, each other's shoulders at the same time or different times? Different, different. different times. So okay. we take turns. I'll go first. Duck. You see how you're starting to turn already? You can't do that. You can't. You, only when you say goose can you turn. Ready? Go first. Duck. 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 Goose. You want to run straight, otherwise you're going to crash because there's going to be a line of people. So when I say go, you're going to make teams. Everybody sit down. There's some people talking. If, you, if you're listening, clap two times. Everybody stand up. Why did I sit you down? Because some people were what? Talking. What I love what Hunter you're doing is you're making, you're, look, you're making eye contact, you're looking at me, you're paying attention. Give Hunter two claps. When I say go, you're just going to make teams. You're not going to start yet. Two people, two people per team. And if you can't find a team in 10 seconds, a teammate within 10 seconds, you come to me. Now we're doing the same exact thing, one-on-one -on -one duck, duck, goose, but we've added the basketball. And this is going to do a couple things for us. Number one, it's going to make this whole thing more difficult because now we have to move effectively with the ball. Number two, we have to use our offhand here while tapping that shoulder to keep our dribble. So much more challenging with the ball in our hands for both the person who is saying goose and running away and for the tagger. So at this point in the session, we've changed up slightly what we're doing, and we're going to add a hand exchange. That hand exchange is through the legs with our feet still, and after the person who says duck says it, they have to go through the legs. And then the next person says duck, right after they say the word duck, they have to exchange through the legs, and on goose, they still do the same exact thing. They don't have to exchange. This makes it a little bit more challenging, and both physically and on their mind to remember to do that. Now in the next series, what we added was after they say duck, it's through the legs, behind the back, and then the next person goes. And that's all we have for you today. If you found this video of any value, please smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you're looking for a free workout, check out the link in the very first comment and the links in the description. All right, we'll see you next video.